A very little Jamaica high to everybody on this earth. Yeah, I threw it on the ground. I says, man, why are you throwing it on the ground? Make you a video before you throw it on the ground. See behind me? Banana plantation. I'm not going to eat any more imported bananas from the Queen of England. Man, these corrupt motherfuckers, they don't... Nobody gives a fuck about nobody's health, nobody's life, or anything else. These fucking big corporations that, like, dull, dull bananas, and this banana plantation here where it's being exported out. Out of Jamaica somewhere. I'll, I'll explain the, what the fuck I've learned in a couple of days. But I, I had the best night last night in Jamaica. And I'll tell you about it as I'm walking down the street after I'm done, okay? Well, let's drop that roach and let's get on with it. Now, I walked by here yesterday. And these guys in blue uniforms... But this machine is blowing all this white shit up in the atmosphere. This fucking chemical spray. Well, they used to fly over it in an airplane. And I said, say, what? They still doing it? And they said, nah, they don't do it now. They just walk around with these machines on the guy strapped on their back and pouring all this fungus spray all over the bananas. Now... They say those bags have a chemical in it, and it makes the bananas swell up and grow bigger. Okay? Yeah. Plus it has an insecticide in it that protects the bananas from being eaten. Alright? So, oh, you want to eat a banana and get beefed up really good and uh, not have the bugs fuck around with you the rest of your life? Well, come here and eat a banana here. Yeah. A shitload of fucking bananas. Yeah, a shitload of fucking bananas. As far as you can almost fucking see, man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's not over with yet. If you look right in there, and let me give you a close up. See how dead the grass, there's nothing growing underneath the banana trees. You understand? Nothing. Now everywhere I've gone underneath the banana tree where they're not killing Mother Nature and what's living on it. Yeah, it's all full of vegetables. Nice green grass growing underneath it. They spray pesticide underneath that fucking shit. Or not a pesticide, a fucking a weed eater. Kills the grass. Well, if it kills the grass, I think it might be uh, smart enough to think that uh, it'll kill you. So, let's get back on with my best time I've had in Jamaica. Last night I was strolling down here to go get a beer. Nice long walk. And I come across a poker room. Yeah, a poker room. Yeah, the poker room. Right there. And I walked by it and I just glanced over and there's five women playing. I call it Jamaican poker. It's like just regular poker, but the way they play, trust me, man. Uh, everything goes in this poker game. Everything. So, walk by and I see what they're playing, and I notice right off the bat, this lady won a, a flush, and I said, hell, you guys are playing some poker. Yeah, white man, we're playing some poker. 
And they don't even have a name for it, so I'm just going to call it Jamaican Poker. So I'll explain how it works. It's just like Texas Hold'em. But you get three cards. Well, it's like playing High Omaha with... Yeah, that's probably what's about the High Omaha. Good description. Because Omaha, I think you have three cards in Omaha. Texas Hold'em, you only have two. So they're playing Jamaican Omaha. High card stake. So. This is how they play it. Okay. Everybody gets three cards. Alright. Then, the dealer throws out five cards. So everybody plays with their three cards. You can play with one card, and you can play with all the cards. You can play... <laughs> That's what's bizarre. Yeah. You can play with... Use one card for the highest hand, or you can use all three cards for the highest hand to win the jackpot. Now, Texas Hold'em, you use your two cards. But in Omaha, you only can use two cards. So, good morning. How are you today? I'm doing good. You yeah, have a good day. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, you okay? Yeah. You're going funny road early? Yeah, I'm not showing your house, but this is the local drug dealer here. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, what no, I, I'm filming, I'm just videotaping. So how's life treating you? Huh? You should have came to the poker game last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see you at the poker game tonight, all right? Look here, look here. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> How are you doing? I don't play games, you know. You don't play? I don't like those, those games, no. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I had fun last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I took the lady's money away from him and then gave the money to the children. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your, here's your mama's money, children. <laughs> well, that's how you play, right? Yes, that's how you play, yeah. Because if they're foolish enough to lose their money, you know, no, no. I, I don't need their money. I just had fun, and I won, I won a lot of money, so I just gave it to the children. Bought them ice creams and all their, all their drinks and stuff like that. Yes, so. yes, that was wonderful, yes. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yes, all right. But I'm going to look forward to doing it tonight again, too. So we're going on the, on the street? Yeah, I, I got to go into town. Oh, you're going in town. Yeah, a friend got uh, a friend got arrested for uh, possession of a large amount of marijuana, over four pounds. Mm -hmm. And so they, uh, he was in jail yesterday, and someone go down there and see if he's out of jail or not. Okay. If not, that's then, your friend. Yeah. Is you and him come come come? No, no, he's but he, but he's, he's local. A, he's yeah. local here. Mm. What is your friend? Yeah, they had a roadblock and they were searching all the cars, even on the buses. Yes. So everybody, be warned, okay? Yes. Yeah, so they were searching everybody on the buses and everybody, these, this roadblock. Yes. And so he was on the bus mm -hmm. and they just took him off. Yes. Rested them, let's go to jail. So. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't hurt his thinking about life because... You know, I need him to grow marijuana. <laughs> look here, look here. I need him to sell marijuana, should I say, too. Uh -huh. But he has, he has a good quality. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you later, okay? Yes. I, I'm recording right now, so. Yes. I just, I'll talk to you. Okay, all right, all right. Later, I'll pass by. You'll yes, see yes. me. Bye-bye. Okay. Have a good day. Bye -bye. We'll talk later on, yes. away from the camera, okay? Okay, so then we had to move our poker game 
last night because it got too dark to read the cards. So then we moved our poker room right here. Yeah, and that's where we finished out playing the night. And yeah, I think I played until about 12:30 last night until I took all the ladies' money away from them. They says I don't have no more money. And I just gave it to the children. <laughs> I know, I mean, I mean. I do like playing poker. Yeah, that's a nice poker table right there. <laughs> so I played with, <clears throat> when I first started, five women. One dropped out. She was broke. Another one, she dropped out. She was broke. And I turned around and played with... The other three the rest of the night until one got broke and then the other two says, yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> Good night. I had fun, though. It was seriousness. <clears throat> yeah, right. <clears throat> that was good, though. Never played with... I never played a poker turn or on a poker table with just all women. There's almost all guys, maybe one woman at the table with her husband. And that's about it. So it was kind of, I was asking all the ladies, this is, uh, where, where's your boyfriends at while you spend all this money? And they says, eh, they're out in the fields working. I said, it's going to be one pissed off person when you come back and you're broke. And they go, where's all my money at? Well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have to explain more to you. I've told my wife a couple times, I lost my paycheck while I was gambling. Yeah, it's all about Well, I'll see you later.